Hello, welcome to the American Backpacker. I've been getting some requests for me to do more land navigational videos, and that's what today's video is going to be about. I enjoy teaching land navigation, and it's definitely a skill you need to know to enhance your wilderness experience. Today's video is going to be utilizing a protractor on a topographical map. So I'm going to show you how to use a protractor uh, to shoot or get an azimuth on a topographical map. So here you have a protractor and they come in different shapes. They come in a square shape, half moon, or round. I like using the square shape uh, protractor. And on this particular one here, uh, the outside here, numbers that you see on the outside, those numbers uh, represent mills. And that's used by individuals that want precise measurements, such as the artillery. The numbers here on the inside, those are our degrees, 360 degrees. And that's what we're going to be utilizing on this particular protractor when we're shooting or getting an azimuth on a topographical map. In the center of the compass here, you have this line here, this cross. This line is the baseline. This line here is the horizontal line. In the center there is the indexed or center point where they cross right there. That's important because we're going to be utilizing that and we're going to be utilizing this degree scale here. These three triangles are for another lesson. Those are utilized in a grid square to get a, a military grid which would be a six, eight, or ten digit uh, grid. And they're broken down to the one fifty thousandths, one one hundred thousandths, and the one twenty five thousandths there. Again, I'll discuss those later. But right now, for this particular uh, lesson, what we're worried about is this baseline, horizontal line, which is the, we're looking at the uh, index point and the degree markings here. Now, some individuals will cut away uh, this portion here of the protractor because they don't utilize it. All they utilize here are the degrees. And they also put some tape here to give the protractor, which you can see through, some contrast on a map. Because sometimes a protractor on a map uh, with all this black leathering makes it very difficult to see. So what I've done here is I've taken a protractor and I've cut away the, the mills on the outside and all you have here are the degrees in black, okay? And I've put some tape on the inside here just to highlight or give contrast to these numbers here. Now, this particular protractor, it's a little different from the other one in terms of you have the uh, red numbers here. So, for example, that, that tick mark there is 325. The red indicates the <clears throat> back azimuth, so the back azimuth there would be 145. But that's on this particular protractor. We're going to be utilizing the, uh, the black tick marks here, which are in degrees. So now I'm going to show you how to plot an azimuth on a map utilizing this protractor. So you have a topographical map here, and just to give you an idea basically of this protractor, when you put it on the map here, uh, you can see that it's kind of difficult to read these numbers here, but when you have that contrast with the tape on it, you can see that sticks out a little better. Again, it's just contrast. So on the particular map, on this map, topographical map, and it's of the um, Wimanuchi Wilderness Area, San Juan National Forest. We want to go from uh, this point here, which is a hilltop, to this hilltop here, which is 9609. So you can do various things. You can draw a line from this hilltop to this hilltop in pencil, of course, so you can erase it and make sure you extend the line out. And then we're going to put the protractor on top of this hilltop here. Make sure we have it right. We don't want to have it backwards. We want to make sure that you're able to read the lettering here. So we're going to put it, that center point, the index point, on that hilltop that we are at right now. This baseline here, we want to line up and get uh, parallel 
to the grid line here. So we don't want to have it like this or like this. We want to go ahead and get it lined up parallel, this baseline, to a grid line here. And you got all kinds of grid lines on a topographical map here. Then what we're going to do is we shut that, we have that line going from <clears throat> where we're starting from through the hilltop and you can see that it extends out here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and read uh, that tick mark there. So that's 310, 11, 12, 13, and roughly about 314, maybe a little more, but we'll say 314. And that is your azimuth, your grid azimuth on this particular topographical map utilizing this protractor. And then from here, you're going to have to convert it over to um, with your magnetic declination for this particular map, which is 10 degrees east, uh, so you can put it on your compass and navigate. And there you have it, folks. How to use a protractor on a topographical map to get an azimuth. Uh, very basic. I didn't go over a lot of detail on other uh, features of the protractor. I just want to show you how to get an azimuth. Now, the important thing to understand in this lesson is once you get your azimuth using this protractor on a map, you need to convert that azimuth over via the magnetic declination to the map uh, so you can use it on your compass. So the map I used today was a map over in Colorado in the uh, San Juan Wilderness and it has a 10 degree easterly declination. Okay, so when I'm utilizing that I need to convert it over. So if you have the Sunto MC2G compass, and that's the compass that I use here. You can do that on the compass itself, set it so you don't have to worry about converting that magnetic declination. That's the nice thing about having this Sunto MC2G compass. Now I've done a video on uh, setting the magnetic declination on the Sunto MC2, MC2G compass here on my YouTube channel. And I've also done a video on magnetic declination and how to convert that over, which is posted here on my YouTube channel as well too. If you have any comments or questions, please put them here in the comments section and I'll get back to you with an answer. Uh, and stand by for future videos uh, on land navigation. This is Andy with the American Backpacker. Thank you for watching.